so true funny how it seems always in time but never in line for dreams head over heels when toe to toe this is the sound of my soul this is the sound Welcome everybody to A Brit Reacts to Bollywood. I am your Brit, Matthew, and I want to say to all of you, Namaste, Assalamu Alaikum, Sat Sri Akalji, Vanakam. Now, I just recorded this whole video just now, and then all of a sudden, my camera went boop, and the whole video was lost. So I'm going to watch it again, and I'm going to say exactly what I was saying previously. <laughs> because I think this is a beautiful video. This is from the film Baiju Bara. And as you can see, it's got this stunning classical Bollywood cinematic poster art with, with the vegetation, with the moon, with the two lovers locking eyes over a musical instrument. It's stunning. We've got this incredible film, which is a classic, a classic from the early days of Bollywood. Baiju Bara means Baiju the Insane. It's a 1952 musical romantic drama film directed by Vijay Bhatt. It's produced by Prakash Pictures. Now, Bhatt's decision to make a film based on classical music was met with scepticism by the Indian film industry due to its lack of mass appeal, they said. But the film turned out to be an overwhelming success. The music director was Naushad, who had become popular giving folk-based music in films such as Rattan, Amal Gadi, Shah Jahan and Didar. Now, with Baiju Baura, Naushad introduced a classical component in Hindi film songs. The soundtrack was based on classical ragas such as Puriya Danashri, Todi, Malkans, uh, Dabari, and Desi. The lyricist was Shakil Badayuni, a Naushad discovery. The film starred Bharat Bhushan as Baiju, with Meena Kumari playing his love interest Gauri. Surendra portrayed Tansen, one of the Navratnas in Akbar's court. Kuldip Kaur played a role of the Dakowit queen, Rupmati. The film merges the legend of Baiju Bara with the historic setting of Mughal Emperor Akbar's court in India. Baiju is the son of a musician who also grows up to be a musician himself. He comes to believe that Tansen, the famed musician at the court of Akbar, is responsible for his father's death. The movie then follows Baiju's attempt to avenge his father's death by challenging Tansen to a musical duel. That's a very beautiful classical thing to do. Even though there were many changes in the storyline from the original life of Baiju Bara, the film was both a commercial and critical success and catapulted both its lead actors into stardom. Meena Kumari became the first ever Filmfare Act Best Actress Award winner in 1954, the first of four Best Actress trophies she won in her career. Stunning. The film's music director, Naushad, also received the inaugural Filmfare Best Music Director Award for the song To Ganga Timauj. This was Naushad's first and only Filmfare Award win. And guess what we're watching today? That's right, To Ganga Timauj. Let's take a look. Really, really nice use of the nature. 
She's overwhelmed. You can see the cameras just showing her state of mind. They seem so benign and so positive and friendly, but she's overwhelmed. What is she resisting? This is one of the most beautiful songs I've heard. Another word. I would love to know what the lyrics are of this and I'd love to get a sense of the storyline. I'm just getting this snapshot of the film but it's this incredible turmoil that this, this female character is going through of resistance to something that this lead man and her community are suggesting to her. It's really interesting as a plot journey to use this song as her turmoil. I love it. Th this is what I find so interesting about this song and this video. It's incredible to me how crisp and immediate it looks considering it was filmed in the early 50s and we're looking at people in an incredibly rural, authentic environment and it's something that I really admire because so much of modern uh, Bollywood and Western film is urban, it tries to be modern, tries to be flash, tries to be smart. It wants to show how cutting edge and how edgy it is but this this song and this film connects with something that is so common and prevalent in in India, this rural lifestyle. Communities who live with the land, who live with the river, who are modest, who are humble people, who are a part of a community, that's how they, they live their lives. And that's something that I don't often see in these Bollywood videos. It's more, it's a more common thing in the earlier films where they engage with India as a physical reality, as a physical landscape, as a rural agricultural home. 
that's something that I really like to see. And you see these people with these incredible traditional outfits and they're just living their life, collecting water and doing these things. That engages me and it's something that I think is incredible. And the use of that landscape in the cinematography really pulls me in. And I think it's an incredible job. It, you don't have to have really high production values the way that many films do today in order to communicate that beautiful message that this film is communicating and that storyline. I love it. I would love to know your feedback about this film in particular. There's so much that I could say and I'm sure I'll remember to say it after filming this but it's a heritage and it still exists. This world that this, this song has captured. Cherish it. It's something I think that we should all appreciate and not shy away from just because we want something that's more flashy um, as a subject matter. I am your Brit reacting to Bollywood. I've got PayPal down below. Do support me because it allows me to spend more time doing this. It's as simple as that. And I want to learn more of your heritage in cinema. I am your Brit reacting to Bollywood. I wish you all the best. Be safe, be well and travel. This is your Brit saying chin chin, cheerio.